The Durkee fire has burned almost 270,000 acres in eastern Oregon, but crews are making progress on the fire tonight. Yeah, we just learned it is now 20% contained. Our Abby Wilt has been there all week talking to people who had to evacuate in eastern Oregon and whose property is damaged. Here about five minutes outside of Huntington where the Durkee fire continues to burn and threaten homes and structures. And I want to show you here where the fire has jumped I-84. This happened last night. We watched the fire roll down those hills yesterday and as of today it has completely jumped over. However, there are no active flames where we are now. And I want to note too, I-84 continues to have off and on closures from Ontario to Pendleton. Crews are monitoring the road conditions for visibility as well as if the fire activity is close to the road. As the seventh largest fire in Oregon's history burns, it's still not over. Residents are just now starting to return to their homes and assess the damage. So all my animals are good. My house is still standing. Matt Sott lives in Rye Valley and has been protecting his home from the Durkee fire, which started one week ago by lightning and is bur burning east of I-84, scorching over 260,000 acres so far. And Matt says it's been a community effort. And I was helping my neighbors chase cows out of there because we knew it was coming. And his neighbors helped him when the fire surrounded his home. I feel pretty lucky because a lot of people weren't so lucky. A lot, so I didn't have any animals hurt and my house is still standing and a lot of people weren't that lucky. Currently, these fires are the number one fire priority in the nation. That includes the Badland Complex fire, which is burning over 23,000 acres west of I-84. Both are causing fear for residents throughout the state. And you know it's coming, but you don't know when and you don't know what to do. Tonight, officials say the towns of Rye Valley, Lyme, Huntington, Richmond, and Durkee are still in danger. As of now, there are no reported structures that have been burned, but evacuation levels do remain in place. Reporting in Eastern Oregon, Abby Wilt, Idaho's News Channel 7. A quick reminder, Malheur County has lifted all evacuation orders for the Durkee and Cow Valley fires. Baker City reduced some areas to a lower level. The city of Huntington and Snake River Road are now at level one. The southern outskirts of Baker City are not under any evacuation levels.